Well, hi there. You know what they say about um, if it weren't for the last minute, nothing would get done? Yep, this is the last minute, guys. And I'm down to the wire. I may not be uploading that last card until 1159. You may not see it until the 15th. But I am going to do everything I can to get 14 cards done in 14 days. Ooh. And it's a battle between making and rendering and, and you know, editing. Wow, this is, we're going to see, you know, I've gotten three up today and one is uploading right now as we speak. So you'll see that in the morning. Um, some of you will be seeing it while I'm trying to catch up on my sleep. <laughs> but anyway, I'm coming to you now with a gnome. Oh, excuse me, because bless it if I don't want to make one with a gnome. So I'm taking this as one of my Simon Says stamps. I've, I've lost the flipping little envelope it came and I can't find it. I'm just like, what the heck? I pulled him, and then he went missing, and then I finally found him, and now the envelope's gone missing. I can't win. <laughs> so I'm just like, wow. He is here, but he is going to be the gnome of choice, I believe. It's either going to be him, or if not, it might be our friend here. And it depends on how things work out with the sizing of this car, because I was realizing I'm rethinking my strategy, but I really do want to use him. So we are going to figure things out. But let's start with... Let's start die cutting some panels down for this card, okay? So give me a second. Let me die cut some panels, the, the background panels, and then we'll get going. I just wanted to share for a moment that, as you can tell, I'm not getting a lot done because Godzilla is blowing through Tokyo, or in this case, Elvis has decided to top up and trop through my desk and say, Hi, Mom, let me see what I can steal. No, but I thought I would share and now I'm going to evict him. I'll be right back. Alrighty then. Godzilla has been dealt with. And I have a little bit less of a mess, but still a mess nonetheless. Um, you see, I have a bazillion little hearts. And I will show you in a minute the source of these little tiny hearts that I may or may not use, but I've hung on to them. So I've got everything die cut out. I've got my gnome friend here. I have got my two hearts because I couldn't make up my mind which one to use, and I'll explain in a minute. I've got all my die panels, excuse me, all cut up and all marked up and ready to go so I can save a little time on this card. So let's start by assembling panels. So let's get our tape down real quick and just, just get this done. Get her done. Get this little card, that, that one really went crooked. Right, and I'll be darned why. I may I have another one of these because I actually have about three of these, and I'm gonna pull out the other one and reload it with this tape to see if that because this one have you seen the tape and and so I can't keep it lined up. It's a pain in the butt. I am getting vastly unhappy with it. So put this that corner down, and then I'm gonna line it up to that corner and look it's perfectly lined up yes oh my gosh doing this i know it's wait a minute, i'm gonna take because then i'll take the other one off i know this is really ridiculously silly to those of you but for those of us who are really bad at lining stuff up this for me particularly this method is a total godsend it makes it so that i can line up because like it makes me crazy i do not not like them lined up. I also do not care to spend three hours trying to line them up. So, there we go. Stay there, girl, because I don't know why I'm putting you away. I'm going to pull you up in another minute. And then I have got to see my pencil marks right there. And then my pencil marks right there laid right down. Oh, this one is... I'm not going to care. Actually, it's a little bit off. Let me see that I... Don't, hopefully, I didn't press it down too much. So I think I can pull it out. Oh, yeah. It'll come up. If it were like the really good tape, the 3 m I would be in trouble. But this is not so. And we want it to last. Let's not, let's not lie here. I do. But it doesn't have to survive the zombie apocalypse. Okay. We can, you know, play a little. Oh, my gosh. This one, I really blew it. Apparently. Okay, there we go. And then, last but not least, is this little panel, which is the back side of this paper. I used up, all, you know, I used up, I think, maybe one or two, depending on this one, I used up two. 
and I'll explain why in a minute. But I really made some efficient use of the paper in this collection to both for the backgrounds and for the clothing on my gnome. Okay, so we'll put that one here. That one is just more or less, it's more of a keeping it straight. And I didn't do a good job of it apparently, but okay. Now I can take and really quickly hand, use my handy dandy eraser and take out all my pencil marks, which are already, as is, almost imperceptible. But I know they're there. So we're gonna make them, whatever is left that's perceptible, disappear. So now we've got all of our pieces together. My next goal is to get the heart down because that will determine where our gnome friend, and then it allows me five minutes to put off <laughs> putting him together. <laughs> now, I wanted to show you, I could make up my mind. I dug up, actually what I did is I remembered this piece. Remember these? These are our friends from the cat. Our little friend cat, I pulled it out so I could show you right there. And I remembered I had it, and I go, oh look, I can put it right there in my heart. And oh look, I could. But um, I, there was a part of me that was actually tugging at my heart, wanting to do a long one. So I went through and dug up all my loves that I have and settled. I settled on this one because I also wanted the effect of it sticking out. And this one is from Kindred Stamps. I don't think I hear I cut it out, but if you go to Kindred Stamps, you will find this. I believe it is still available. I really love it. I, this is one of my, my favorite ones because the O is a heart. And then I couldn't make up my mind. I was going between this one and that one and this one and that one. And then I decided, you know what the heck, I'm going to make two cards. Okay, so we're going to set this aside because we're going to use this one for this card. That is my determination. Now, what I'm going to do is what I absolutely freaking hate to do, but just on pure principle, I'm going to do it, is I'm going to write on this, on this die cut because I have nothing better to do than torture myself with doing something I hate to do. I really just should have made a puddle or a link, but there you go. I mean, even if some stuff comes, you know, glue comes off and it will, I'm positive. I'm going to have seepage and I have Elvis with the look of, I'm going to jump up on the desk right at the most inopportune moment. Seriously, Elvis, Elvis. Okay. Hang on guys. Cause I'm trying to keep him from stepping on the glued heart. Come here, kitty. Come here. Hi. I love you too. Bye. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Oh my gosh, where do my tweezers go? Because I've got to still finish putting glue on this before the blessed glue dries, starts to dry. Because <sighs> see, this is the stuff, you know, we have not had, we've had a dearth of cat meals. So Elvis, you know, he's doing better. He has discovered his voice. I think I spoke about this in another, in another video. He was a very, very quiet cat. We realized he didn't have to make noise because Squeaky made noise enough, noise enough for both of them. So we have discovered he is now saying, wait a minute, there's nobody who's calling for food and stuff like that. So I, I, I got to get to it. So he's like, all righty. So he has discovered his voice. So he does meow. It's crack. It's a crack up, but I'm going to use, and I picked two hearts. I wanted to show you this real quick while the glue is drying. And I, you know, a more, what I thought was not as foofy girly. And then this one, and I'm sorry, but I ended up liking this one, even if it's a guy. Now to center this more or less so it looks right, it's going to be off center to the heart beneath it. And I don't care. It'll, it works for me. I, you know, I actually, you know, before I came on camera, I really did fiddly fart with it a bit. And I said, well, darned it. You know, I'm going to make sure that little piece right there, I can line it up and there you go. And it's my card. So <laughs> I got, sometimes I don't have the best attitude. But I don't know that it's a bad attitude. It's like, okay, Meyer, I get up with the, you know, get over the obsessing. But you notice I only did one layer. I just, I, I, I figured that was enough to mention. And this is that beautiful tonic um, mirror card. This is opera red. So it's not like a red, red. It's, I don't know what it is, but I've already got it in my cart to order more. I am in love with this red. It is just, just, just makes me happy. So I'm going to stick our heart, this, this love over here, I have um, a little, like this little container right here of extra bits and pieces of stuff I've cut out that I've been using for the kit, for all of these cards, and it's just in there for me to grab from and make use. So now, the one thing I'm going to do now is I wanted to pop this heart out a little bit. 
So I'm going to use my flatter of my two sources of uh, foam, and it's going to be this one, because I have the other one, which are the foam squares. And I think that, where are my scissors? There they are. They're right where they're supposed to be. Weesh. I'll cut that right here. But I wanted to make this one flatter, and then I think my gnome will be a little, I'll use the, the foam squares that I have and make and pop him up so he's above the heart. That's the plan as it stands. And I have Mr. Bo scratching at the screen wanting to be let in because timing is everything, people. He's going to wait. It's not that cold. It's chill. It's it's starting. It was chilly enough that I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm done with this. And we're going to close the sliding mat door. I mean, we and tomorrow rumor has it. I got to check the weather report that we're California is going to get rain. At least Southern California is supposed to. That's a little crookedy, so I'm going to straighten that out. Um, we're supposed to get rain because we've been having a nice hot snap for a bit now. Um, it has been about 80s and 90s for a week. We personally have not had to crank on the AC yet. But, you know, that would be the ultimate irony. Welcome to life in California. You know, turn on the air conditioner in February. My mother texted me and says, can you believe your sister turned on the AC? I go, yeah, man, it's 90 outside, Mom. <laughs> I can. And, and, but it's always hotter. It's always hotter where I am because I'm on the edge of what they call the Inland Empire. So I'm closer to the desert. My, dot, my sister is in Orange County. So she's closer to the beach. And she, it doesn't get as hot, kind of, sort of. Although she's up where she is in your Belinda, it's not like close. I mean, but it, she is closer. Overall, it's not as hot as it is here, but it does get hot. So, okay, so now we've got that down. And now I just have to decide where I'm going to put him. But you know what? Before I do that, let me, let's go back here and assemble our friend here, Elmer. I just, don't ask me why. I just decided unilaterally his name was Elmer. So we are going to put in, I think the best way, and I discovered this, and I will show you I'll, um, to put him together because you can't keep these pieces. I decided is to kind of put these, align them up, and then tape them together. Where's his nose? Now his nose, I, you could find flesh-colored um, paper. What I ended up doing is just grabbing white paper, coloring it up with one of my alcohol markers, and then die cutting that piece of the face out. I'm going to tell you that die cutting, and I see a little bit of, I don't know, fruit here. That die cutting these guys are is a challenge. Let me pull it out to explain it to you. Because it is, where is he? I pull out everything except the guy. He's all one piece. So you you have to figure out the size of the papers. I mean, you're going to have to, and I did it all out of scraps. I cut him out of the leftovers from the other, from the rest of the paper. So his hat came out and just, and I did pick out the polka dot paper. Excuse me, because that's what I have more of right now. I have more polka dot paper left than anything. So his hat and his beard was obviously white paper. And then the red is the backside of the heart paper. So I made use of all my scrap paper. But you need to. I need to put his nose in place so that then I can put his hat in place. And what I'm using, I'm going to put it there on my finger, is just washi that's been basically already used. So it'll stick and hold it in place enough for me to then torture myself with more glue writing on it. And I think I'm going to have to do this nose by itself. It doesn't matter, really. So that I can get, so that I can I'm going to use this little piece of washi right here. Let's see. If it'll hold. Did I line that up well enough? Yes. It is. I want to make sure there's no space. Basically. And now I can line up his, the hat to the rest of him if I can see. And you know what? Hang on a second. Let me swap out for, there we go, these glasses. I'm using the computer. Actually, the spare computer glasses because my I think I left my computer glasses in the bedroom, and you think I, I could possibly have gotten up and gone and getting them? No. That would make sense. Okay. So now I think I've got this lined up well. I hope. Let's see. Of course, we're going to see it on the back, and yeah. That looks good. Kind of, sort of. It's, I don't know, I feel it kind of funny right there. Okay, you know what? Maybe I could just line it up from the back side. Hello. 
See what I mean about this being a bit of a challenge? There. I could have saved myself a little bit of time. There. So now it's all one piece and more easily glued on. And no, he's still his hat is still not sitting on straight. I'm not wondering if I'm going to glue. I may glue. I think what I'm going to do, because this, he comes on a base. I think I'm going to glue his body all down first and then go for his hat. Because that seems to be working out. I believe I will struggle less. So, and you guys, you know, might have a better time. I'm using right now this piece of tape as a handle. <laughs> but see, that's going to be a little bit around the edge. So, okay, let's hand, hand grab our handy dandy barely art glue and we're just going to scribble all over him kind of sort of got to I forget that there's little holes cut out so I can't really I got to scribble around all the little holes in them that'll create polka dots on him when you put it up against the white paper so it's very clever how they did that I love these little guys these gnomes and they're one of the little larger ones I figure I'll start with the larger one and then I'll attack messing with the little gnomes those other little guys I have that I'm dying to play with that have also a zillion pieces to them. Criminy. I'm so attracted. I hate those things, and I'm so attracted to dies with 14 bazillion little pieces. It's, it's kind of like I'm a, uh, I'm a, you know, a, a moth to the light, but it's so pretty. Okay. All right, so we've got him now all glued down and see here's the point washi tape comes right up and I don't peel him off the paper so now I have my gnome man and now I think I can line up his hat which may or may not be perfectly yeah it is there we go I've got this okay so we're gonna go ahead and now put glue on his little curly hat. Come on. I have another one that's a Simon Says one that has all kinds of die cuts and stripes and that would have been torturous. I've got a clog. And I said no. Because it didn't match, really. I was trying to, you know, this I felt was closer. I mean, it was these polka dots. That one has stars and stuff like that. And didn't feel very valentine -y to me. So he will come out. Because I do intend. I'm getting him. What I'm really wanting to lay my hands on is the, um, oh goodness. Elizabeth Craft does this beautiful mushroom house. Oh my gosh. It's not cheap. It's like $30 and they're on sale right now, 20% off. But I'm like, okay, I had to pick my battles and I don't need it now. I want it now, but I don't need it now. So we are holding off. So on that note, guys, Elizabeth Craft has a sale going on. 20% <laughs> off, I think, through tomorrow, through the 15th. So if you're a fan, run over there. I am letting you know that. Okay, so now here I just widget. I'm going to use it my hands, but I'm going to widget him, this hat, in straight in place, more or less. I need to get this closer. Right? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's it's because I glued down right here. There we go. Okay. This is good enough for government work. For the next one, I know to slide them over a little, that little smidgen on this side, I need it for the curl and a cap. But you really can't tell. It looks, I think, it looks acceptably well. And see, now, I with him here, I know placement. And, oh, this is the one thing I wasn't counting on. It cuts off a bit of my L, of my, of my swirly, unless I bring my heart all the way up here, and I don't want to. Well, that backfired on me, but I'm going to make it work here anyway. See, this is the problem when you use a tall. I should have gotten the short gnome, see? That's what I get. Give me a second. I'm going to let the dog in. Alrighty, I have let Mr. Wiggly Butt in, and it's so funny on the basset how it wags his tail. It's like his whole butt is going. Rrr, rrr. So he's and therefore he is Mr. Wiggly Butt. Um, I went ahead and I put a bunch of these little die cut, little tiny hearts that I have left over, and I'll show you why I have those cards um, available in just a minute. Yes, I'm teasing. Um, but I want to go ahead and glue those down first, and then glue the whole thing because I 
took the time to put them in place. And all I'm literally doing is grabbing my little, you know, sticker pokey picker upper tool and drop and go ahead and drop the heart. Oh my gosh, these guys are just a pain in the tuchus to deal with. You have no idea. Okay, that one cooperated very easily. Didn't want to make me look too bad. I'm sorry for all the shadow because I forgot to turn on the other light. So I have some extra shadowing going on right now. We will fix that. And I have a, ha a cat hair. I can tell. See, now we dropped another one. Oh my goodness. I can see. You know what it is? Is because I'm going easy because I don't have that heart glued down on the panel yet. So I don't want to pick up the heart. I've already dropped the heart. Little guy. Come here, you. There we go. You are just going to go in the direction that you land. Eh, I don't know. I want to turn him. So let's make this hard while he's still wet. There we go. Okay. And now you will be picked up. And another drop goes right there. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now you get picked up. And replace with a little tiny dot of glue, maybe a little bigger than that. Okay. And then you get picked up. And you're going to get dropped off. And there we go. I didn't want to put that many because, again, at the end. My, oh, that, oh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> it's like, goodness gracious. Okay. So we now have these little hearts down. So now we are going to go about the business of of placing the heart let's put this close this guy up before everything starts rolling all over the place because it will because it will annoy me hence that's what's going to happen see it wants to already which is why we toss it into its place so we will now remove the tape that i put on while you guys weren't looking because why waste your time watching me put on tape you guys know how to put tape and if you don't oh my goodness somebody knows less than i do that warms my heart <laughs> I'm a terrible human being, I'm telling you. Okay, I'm just going to remove these. Come on. I do this perfectly fine when I'm off camera. First try, I almost always get it. Now, all I have to do is be on camera for it not to work. Okay, so I'm going to put him more or less where I think he's going to go. and Or I put the heart where I think where I want it to go. And then we'll put him... It's laid down ever so precariously. So I think that'll work now is my heart straight. It's a little catty wampus, so there we go. So we have our heart. I'm sorry that that swirl will now get covered by the swirl from the hat. That makes me sad. But there's nothing to be done about it. I'm not going to get upset about it. I'm not going to, you know, ah, no, it just is. It just is. That's a little, you know, design um, backfire and, and it happens and I am not going to let it stress out, stress me out because I just have two more cards to get done <laughs> and it, I can't let it stress me out. <laughs> and, and there you go. It's just, remember there are no mistakes. There are just opportunities for creativity. It's like, okay, I've got to figure out where the place is now. So, and there you go. It's the, I think it's going to be a really cute card no matter what. And whoever receives this will not be the wiser. Although it is already, today is already Valentine's day and I'm still finishing and these will probably not get done anything with until next year, unless I don't use it for Valentine's and just let, send somebody a love card. So there you go. I have got him all put together. And now if you want to find out why I have all these little dinky hearts, it's because he has a girlfriend. <laughs> I did the nomad too. I it, I just because I couldn't make up my mind about which love to use, and now in hindsight, but there you go. I have so where you, when you can do one, what do I always say? Do four. No, we're not doing four. Two is enough. But hopefully, I mean, I have given you a little bit to go by with it with something like this, and what to do. And literally, those little tiny hearts are these little right here. This they came out of these little spaces. So I'm like, oh my gosh, let's see what I did on hers. I put more because she's a girl. And again, this paper is reversible. So I just, her heart is the back side of that. So I really made good use of the paper. 
that I had with me. I mean, I believe I definitely used two sheets of this because of the background, but I used up every element of that paper to put this together because the extra paper is this panel because the back side here, let me show you a little scrap of the red is the solid. So that's the back panel here. This is just solid cardstock, white cardstock, and then the polka dots. And this is red. This is, I think, regular red. I think it, no, it is. It's this red too, but it has here, it has polka dots. And what is there? Why is there a fooful or something? Huh? I don't know what is there. Okay. Anyway. Um, so I used up all the paper. I mean, this is all I have left really out of the main papers, except for this, because I had to pull out another piece to do her hat. But other than that, I used up, okay, so two pieces of paper and a little bit and a little bit of this. So pretty efficient. And I have little scraps that I'm going to save. So there you go. I hope you like, you like my little gnomes. They're little cute guys with their little hearts. Um, and if you did, guys, go ahead and drop me a like and leave me a note. And if you want to see what else I've got coming, God help us all, then subscribe and ring the bell because I've got two more cards to crank out. All right. And just remember, I'm not even going to go into all of this rigmarole because I got to get cracking. So don't forget, we're all a little mad here. Oh, my Lord, am I ever mad. So come and craft the madness with me. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.